<laughs> I told you to stay out of here, old man. <laughs> I'm gonna run you over. Uh, help, somebody! Cut it out. Who the hell are you? Quit terrorizing him. Look at him. Talks like a goody-goody little shit. All right, then. We'll just play you. What? How about you race us? Motorcycle? A chicken race. You do know what that is, right? Okay, I'll play your little game. But if I win, you leave him alone. You give the signal. Start when this can hits the ground. Here we go. Touch him again, got it? Bastard! We'll let you go this time! Alright, this is that guy on the right, and this is Let's Play Shenmue. In the last episode, we got our job at the harbor. I complained about safety regulations being ignored but the fork trucks and all that and we just did something that's gonna help us quite a bit late in the coming days so game you girl I hate you and we're just gonna go home go home go to sleep what a great way to start the episode just go to sleep we're gonna go home we're gonna go to sleep best best way to start the episode ever all right it should be Monday I think is it Monday or Sunday? It's Monday. Okay. I should be I should be looking at the damn cut the cards, you know, the location cards that appear on the loading screens, but I'm not for some reason. Oh boy, just waiting for the bus. Now on on weekdays, the buses run at the uh, hour and half hour marks instead of the uh, 15 minute, 45 minute marks. So. Yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be waiting for a little bit there. Take a look at some of my moves. Show me your moves. All right, I've actually been training a little bit on the side, namely the double blow, because that's a pretty good move. Ooh, it's a pretty good move during sometimes kind of appear in a few episodes. I still got that set to R. I should probably put that on something else. There you go. There you go. I put R on that. They all that training for that one move, and I still lost that chai fight. Oh boy. Come on. Five minutes till eight. And we can go home, go to bed, and go. Holy shit, Mark is a ghost! <laughs> wow. Talk People are complaining about draw distance on Majora's Mask. This game has some pretty bad draw distance, even right next to Rio. <laughs> and there we go. And we go on. We get on. Yeah, he just goes. To, he lets everyone on in front of him. That's like, you know, Rio's a nice guy. Even though all he wants to do is kill somebody. You know. Would he be an anti hero? It's kind of weird. The only thing he's got his mind set on is murdering somebody. Not safety regulations when it comes to driving this forklift. But of course, Mark doesn't either, but whatever. <laughs> Dobuida! Dobuida! 8.26 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> this is kind of weird. Go. Damn you, Santa. <laughs> now, if I were to play all the way to, like, New Year's, you would actually start seeing characters walking around in kimonos and 
katas or whatever to celebrate the new year and that you know that's one you know this game's got a lot of polish for you know for its age and the <laughs> you know and the system and dreamcast games by this time were uh being churned out pretty quickly actually if you you know to get the library built up to compete against the ps2 which is kind of sad really you know, PS2 pretty much just dominated the Dreamcast, and I think this game actually sealed the nail in the coffin for the system. Because it was way too expensive for Sega, and it ended up, and the game didn't, couldn't, it was impossible for this game to sell as well as it was, as it needed to actually break even. So, this game just, pretty, I think this game actually just killed the Dreamcast. Which is kind of sad, because it's, it's a very good game. And the sequel is pretty good too, it's actually even better. This is actually this game is actually quite a bit of a slog to play through. And the next one's got some pretty good action. It's got some pretty good storytelling. It expands the the story quite a bit. That one didn't sell too well either, sadly. Even, even though it was ported to the Xbox, but you know that one wasn't advertised as well as it should have. It was released at a time when people who had an Xbox only cared about Halo and. Those who would have cared about the game couldn't afford an Xbox. So, people just imported the Dreamcast version, which I, I've got, which is what I'll be playing after after this one. I want to do both games in one concurrent playthrough with the same file. That's what I want to try to do. I'm pretty close to... I want to save the game. Yeah. If it breaks here, I'm going to be mad. It doesn't seem like it's gonna break anytime soon, but it's getting it's gotten pretty slow. It used to be pretty this card used to be pretty quick. This is a card I got with the system about thirteen years ago. Yeah. I wonder if they're ever gonna do some uh, mass produced memory cards like aftermarket cards. That break after twenty days. <laughs> And he's got to wake up about, wow, that's a little after 7.30. Morning. My new job starts today. <laughs> and Rio automatically takes the bus to Dubuita. Which is quite nice. You don't have to walk through Dubuita every day. Well, that takes, uh, takes the bus to the harbor. 8.30, 8.30 in the morning. Wow. <laughs> it's on the bus. And this part is another glaring safety issue. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Morning. Time for a daily warm-up race. A race. You all do your best now. Yeah. yeah. Like always, three laps to the finish. Everybody ready? And don't go wrecking the forklifts or the formula have your ass. Yeah! yeah. On your mark, almost time to go. Yes, this is a huge safety ready, issue. Go. Forklifts are not that stable drive they'll tip over pretty easily and even do you know racing around tight corners like this it would tip pretty quickly yeah this game's got a lot of safety oh geez i'm surprised osha didn't try to get this game banned <laughs> it'd be kind of weird osha having a crusade against the game because of it, because of it ignoring safety right that'd be weird as all hell since it's weird it'll probably happen one day one day being pushed against the wall. What the hell? Uh, people are asking. Fuck out of my way! Ah! You asshole! If you can't get in the first place by the uh, beginning of the third lap, you'll never get first. So, you gotta, you gotta try to get it before the second lap. Well, before the end of the second lap. It's a, it's pretty, it's a pretty easy race, really. You just gotta stay to the outside for a bit, or else you'll get caught on things. <laughs> Beat the horn. 
Oh, you asshole. God damn it. Hey, no, you're not taking second. You're not taking third. You're not taking third because if you're not third, you're last, I guess. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna get first. He must have like a NOS attached to his forkwood. Not his pork truck or forkwood. Yeah, he's got NOS, I swear. <laughs> Where'd they get the idea to do this? This is really weird. This has got to be the weirdest thing I've ever seen in a game. Okay, I can't say that. I can't say the weirdest. Okay, second, well, second place is good. Good enough. I'll get you! I'm gonna get you. I'm right behind you. Come on. I'm pretty quick. My fork truck's going a whole 35 kilometers an hour. Yeah, I'm quick. 35 kilometers an hour. I'm going faster than the speed of sound. Ah, you son of a... Yeah, I lost it. <laughs> oh, come on. Ah, turn corner. Turn corner. There we go. <laughs> Weird. Come on, go around. I just want to get this part done. Because I've already lost it. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to try to make it a goal to get first place once during this LP. And, yeah. <laughs> Wow, this part's taking up the entire episode. Kind of sad, really. <laughs> and yeah, I've lost. And finish. Yep, I won. Oh, I got second. Son of a bitch. Oh man, so close. You almost had it. Here's your prize. Thanks. Fork. You get a little mini fork truck. To... It's time for work. Let's get cracking. Oh, right. That's kind of weird. Okay. This is kind of sad. From so today, welcome. I'll do my best. Time to get to work. Move these crates with the forklift. Where do I take them? Warehouse number 18. Here's the route map. The quote is written on the map. Read it carefully. If you exceed quota, you'll get a raise. Great. Just be sure you don't break anything. Okay? Wow. All right. Ten, ten quote. Well, I say I say ten or eight. Okay. Ten quote. Ten crates. Very easy to do. It's right close. You can actually move all the crates during the time of the day. Well, during your work day. Real, he starts work at 10 a.m., has a two hour lunch break, and and he, he doesn't even work a full eight hours. I want his job. I really do. Starting work at 10, two hour lunch break. I don't care if he gets out at five, fuck. <laughs> and he, he, he gets peace rate too. It's like, Come on, why can't I have his job? I don't care if it's a forklift job, but sheesh. Uh, okay, 300 yen a crate. I'm really, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be money bags after today. Eh, damn cat. Yeah, the cats will actually stop you. Rio doesn't want to run over a cat. The other days, it's not as easy to com totally complete the job. Yeah, I don't know. That that ship never goes anywhere. It's right, it's right in the background. Get the fuck out of my way. And yeah, I'm just being systematic. All right, I'm gonna cut the episode off right here. And when I'm done, I will. It'll be lunch, so be right back. <laughs>